hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is ruth adewolo Liali, and if you're new here i feel my love marriage and how to make it work by god sometimes i feel my life as a nigerian living in sweden okay today i'm going to be talking about some of the things that you should consider when you want to jagba <laughs> for those of us that are not nigerians right jagba is the term we use for immigration right um, in nigeria um so um there are things that one needs to consider before thinking of traveling abroad right living abroad um one of the top of on my list is um citizenship right um because a lot of nigerians have this idea that oh once a child is born in a country that person automatically becomes a citizen which is not true i think we are influenced by the american system of citizenship because i think we are more in tune with the american system but the truth is many countries of the world most european countries if not all european countries do not give citizenship by birth automatically the other criteria that you need to meet before a child born in a european country can be a citizen those are the things that you need to consider because a lot of people just assume that ah once the child is just born in the country automatically citizenship it doesn't work that way try and find out the the immigration laws of the country that you intend to travel to or just research countries that would favor your goal for traveling so that you'll know exactly the country that you should travel to that's one thing that you need to consider another thing that you need to consider again before traveling is um dual citizenship there are countries that do not allow for dual citizenship that is if you are a foreigner in that country right you cannot have um you cannot be a citizen of that particular country and still be a citizen of your of your own country they wouldn't allow that take for example japan japan doesn't allow for dual citizenship if you want to be a citizen of japan you have to drop your citizen citizenship from your original country or whatever citizenship that you had before there are countries like that right so you need to take into consideration these fa these factors before you think of traveling outside of nigeria or outside of your country take into um cognizance these things there's like citizenship or immigration laws are different for different countries how to obtain citizenship in a country a is different from citizenship in a country b so you need to be sure of the laws that operate in a country don't just assume that oh once and like oh like it just happens like that just because it happens in america no another thing again Jay, that you would want to take into consideration when you want to travel out right if you're considering of, of course maybe raising a family in a foreign land how do you want to raise your children right do you want to raise your children as citizens of that country forgetting their homeland where like where you, where you are from or do you want to raise them as citizens of your homeland and forgetting where they live how do you want to do it right because um, oftentimes you see um, children being raised abroad right by foreign uh, foreign born parents and children will be like i'm from so -so and so place and my parents are from so -so and so place we see that all the time right um so how do you want to raise your kids right do you do you want to raise them in a way that they will remember that they are from a place they are they like their ethnicity is, is in a particular place even though they are raised in another foreign place right because do you want to raise them in a way that they have their nigerian passport and they also have the passport of the country that they live in how do you want to raise your kids do you want to raise them in such a way that they just totally forget about nigeria or wherever country that you're coming from and just focus on the country that you're living now is that how you want to do it these are the things that you need to consider because the reality is going to stare you in the face yeah your children will tell you that oh no mom i'm dad i'm not nigerian i'm so 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 i'm, so, I'm american but my parents are this <laughs> I see that a lot and i begin to wonder like okay if your parents are from nigeria you are nigerian even though you're also american or even though you're also british you're also nigerian you can't it's, it's, it runs in your blood you can't change it right 
so we see that a lot so how do you want to do it you want, you should be able to um personally i feel like you should be able to marry the two cultures of course they are nigerians by birth and they are whatever country that you are living in by culture and stuff like that right but you should be able to marry the two so that they don't forget where they are coming from if you are that kind of person that you want them to also know and um, recognize their heritage right so these are the things that you need to consider yeah because <laughs> once you jack back reality like traveling the, the the decision to travel to another country to stay can affect generations unborn because you hear people say oh we are fifth, fifth generation so 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 and so living in a place that is not like their original country right so you can change your life forever so you need to take into consideration these things another thing you need to consider is maybe the the language right a lot of countries don't speak English, right? Uh, a lot of countries speak English. So how do you want to do it? If you're going to a country that speaks a different language from English, right? How do you want to cope? How would you like to adapt into that society? Um, like take it to consideration. How easy is it to learn the language? Or how willing are you to even learn the language, right? Um, so these are the things that you also need to take into consideration. Um, the 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 general standard of living of the place is also one thing that you need to consider how is the standard of living i know like a lot of people <laughs> i think i have more nigerian on the audience right so permit me to use nigeria as a reference like people just want to like ah anywhere other than nigeria but also need to know that every country has its challenges there's no country that is like a uh, oh, utopia and all that no so you need to consider the pros and the cons of where you are going to. If the pros outweigh the outweigh uh, outweigh the cons, fine. If the cons outweigh the pros, well, look for another country to go to. Um, so <laughs> that that that's just it. So you need to know the goal. What's the goal, right? Is it that you just want to any or any place other than where you are coming from, right? Or you just want you, you have a goal? Okay, the goal is to give my children um, better education, or the goal is to live a good life. Like if you want, for example, a work-life balance, come to the Nordic region, like Sweden, Denmark, Finland, and all those kind of countries, right? But if you want to hustle and make money and even if you are doing 30 shifts in one day <laughs> that's a just exaggeration but yeah even if you want to you are doing like how many shifts in a day so far you are getting the body yeah you can go to other countries i don't want to mention this but you can go but if you want to have that family life balance and all that you can come to this some of, some of the countries i mentioned earlier right so you need to know the goal like what is your goal is your goal to just have a nice life like just of course you you can't be wealthy in those countries as I mentioned here, yeah, but there's also a kind of life that kind of like this is more mellowed than some other countries of the world. So these are the things that you need to consider. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think you also need to consider parenting style because a lot of times the way we are coming from and the countries that we want to travel to, the parenting styles are very, very different. Very, very different. So you need to consider that. Um, you need to consider the fact that what you consider discipline where you are coming from can be considered abuse where you want to go to or where you are. So you need to take those things into consideration. And when you are in that particular place that you want to be, where you have, that you have jackpot or that you want to jackpot to, the truth is this, you have to obey the laws of the land. Like you need to think about these things very well, right? Um, that's the thing. I think um, the last but not the least point of course, there are many other things you need to consider, but for this video, the last but not the least point, I think for those that are believers, right, for those that are Christians, one of the things that you need to consider before you jackpot, don't just follow the bandwagon, right? Don't just jackpot for the sake of jackpot. Don't, don't just jackpot for, for the sake of the fact that everybody is doing it. Have you prayerfully considered it? Is the Lord saying something to you that, okay, you need to leave a particular place because some people like location is very important in their destiny like in the fulfillment of their destiny right location is extremely important so they cannot just stay anywhere they cannot just leave and go you get so it's very very important so what is the lord saying before you leave before you leave nigeria right before you leave africa before you leave wherever you are ask god is that what you want for me 
what do you want from me is that god's will for you i think that's very very important extremely important so that should be like the first thing you need to do before you even start looking for where to go and god can also direct you to, to where to go like to what country to go that's how well god can direct you right even before considering the whole physical aspect of jack buying and everything god can also like direct you that okay go to this country and, but, and god directing you does not mean that you shouldn't learn about the country right so it's very important let let your jack mind be spirit be a spirit led decision because location can change the course of your destiny and that's the truth it can so you need to be very very careful i think it's enough said before you jack bar, watch this video if you have jack bad watch this video if you know someone that wants to jack bar, send this video today so that they will know all right <laughs> All right, um, until I come your way next time, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. If you agree with me, say it. If you don't agree with me, say it. But everything should be done respectfully because, wait, we can agree to disagree, right? Right, so until I come your way next time, bye-bye.